Problem in the foundation. That was Ati's vacation spot. We need to check this out. Quiet. Transdimensional. This place really suits Ati. So that etching is the door. Okay, let's try opening it. No time for sightseeing. The board said this was an emergency. Looks like no one's been down here in a while. be having a field day down here. My life's been a strange one. Certainly stranger than I'd like. But this place, it's something else. The floors crawl, the walls slither, it's a shifting pit. On the street, it's just another drab building standing there for anyone to see. But no one does. How do we miss it? Northmore. Acting director in Northmore now is on a train from Washington. He'll expect answers, which is why I'm making these tapes. They're evidence that I'm at least trying to understand. Father searched his entire life for something like this, and we find it one week after he's buried. He always hated irony. Of course, Father, the great director, Ash, would have been the first man in. And look at me, his bookworm son, the supposed head of research who can't stop his legs from shaking long enough to step over the threshold. The foundation. I only heard of the Foundation when I became head of operations. The very bottom of the oldest house. Director access only. Just the name alone is classified. Zachariah gave me a tour the day I was promoted. Said I should see it for myself. To understand. After that, I snuck down on my own from time to time to keep tabs on the place. And on them. But nothing ever changed down there. Not even the walls. It's solid, permanent, different from the rest of the house. Of course, they were always watching me. I never stayed long. I'm not stupid. I have to stop the hiss from finding this place. I'm the only one who can. Bottom of the oldest house. Stop the hiss. Marshall? How was she on the hotline? Unless... She's dead. Oh, Jesus. She seemed like the kind of woman who could survive anything.
The astral plane is cutting into our dimension. What if this happens in the upper floors? It'll destroy the Bureau. I brought Emily with me. I could really use my head of research right about now. Marshall? Marshall! You're alive! Wait! It's Jesse! The director! Marshall? Can you hear me? She was on the hotline, so that person couldn't have been Marshall, right? One problem at a time. Let's see what's going on with that pillar first. So I can only choose one? I thought I was done with these tests. Thank you. 
Okay, let's review. This broken pillar is called the nail. It was broken by something, and now the astral plane is bleeding into the foundation, which will destroy the oldest house, the bureau, and everyone inside. I need to find four locks, or keys, or whatever, to stop that from happening. But I'm the director. I've handled worse. This should be simple. Ish. You with me? It's been five days since we first entered the building. Traversing the interior is dangerous due to the shifting, but we did manage to find a lower cavern that seems structurally predictable, which is a scientific way of saying its walls won't crush us in our sleep. Northmore even made a discovery. A pistol placed on a stone pedestal in front of that strange ebony pillar. Seems like something out of a storybook, except the heroes usually find swords, not handguns. But it is the perfect lure for someone like him. Hours after finding this weapon, Northmore cornered me about some nonsense about how the board had made him the director. He ran it about the title being meaningless before now, calling Father and all other previous directors shams, frauds, and worse. I think this place is worse for Northmore than it is for me. Strangest thing? There was no pedestal in front of that pillar a day ago. This building has swallowed a dozen of my men and now it's handing out presents? Is it playing some sort of game? If it is, we're most certainly losing. Hell, we don't even know the rules. This area looks newer. Is it from the upper floors? behind that his barrier.
I've served under two directors. Three now, I suppose. Trench and I worked our way up together. We made it through the tough cases, the bad days, the casualties. He was the epitome of a good agent. Smart, decisive, selfless. Then he picked up that damn gun. Becoming director is a formal process overseen by the board. Lots of ritual and mystery. After that, key staff provide detailed briefs on all classified matters. Past and present, but with favor. Well, there's no protocol for field promotion. The girl's smart, has a good head on her shoulders. I'm trusting her to handle the hiss upstairs, while I hold them off here. All oh, this shit with the nail, the board, I'm not sure she's ready. Besides, I work better alone. Faith? Not sure she's ready. I'm here, aren't I? I saved the Bureau once, and I'll do it again. etching, like the one I used to get in here. Is this the lock slash key the board told me about? get down here. What are you doing down here, Emily? What do you mean? You called me down, remember? I'm pretty sure I didn't. No, that's right. You didn't. But then, I remember you needing me to come here. I mean, you even told me how to get in. Let's just chalk it up to synchronicity so we can get to work. She takes everything in stride. The board called me down here to deal with the situation. The astral plane is colliding with our world, I know. Isn't it fascinating? I never even considered that the astral plane could be a, a physical volume expanding beyond its dimensional container. The bleed is localized to this area, but its growth rate seems steady. Given time, it will consume the entire Bureau. And possibly beyond. That's what I'm here to stop. The board told me to fix the nail over there by dismantling four locks in the astral plane. Funny, I think it's put itself back together a bit. So that could be due to the law of inverse exchange. For every associated component you remove, this nail reconstructs. Or possibly some variation of anti-sympathy. Don't worry. I'll look into it. Did you notice all the Bureau infrastructure? It looks like there was a research team stationed down here at some point. Do you think Darling knew about this? I put money on it. That reminds me. Have you seen Marshall? She contacted me over the hotline, but then I saw her walking around. I haven't seen her. The hotline only connects to extraplanar entities. Or dead people. 
But Marshall's proved time and time again that she's a survivor. That's exactly what I thought. Anyway, I've been looking into the minerals growing down here. Have you noticed how they insist on maintaining a certain form? Maybe some sort of a, a state memory, or they consciously prefer a certain shape? I think we're on a clock here, Emily. I need to stop the astral bleeding before it brings the oldest house down. See what you can find out from the nail in the meantime. And send out some rangers to look for Marshall. She may be in trouble. Will do, Jesse. If you see anything interesting, remember to take detailed notes. All the tests I run on the nail keep coming back as nonsense. And a couple of my instruments have already broken. Maybe we should take that as a sign to get back to I didn't take you for a quitter, Dr. Saba. spent inside what we're calling the oldest house. Northmore insists on the name. I'm too tired to ask why. Her orders. Me and my research team have established a permanent examination lab in the Foundation. I basically live down here now. Like the obedient head of research father raised me to be. I spend my days investigating that odd pillar when Northmore found the handgun. The work was half-hearted at first, I admit. But then I discovered numerous non-Aristotelian energy channels converging at its base. Ley lines, dragon roads, Heiligalinian, call them what you want. But this pillar is the crossroads. I started building something. Equal parts talisman and technology. An array that can impose order on the lay junctions. That's the idea, at least. You'll see when I'm done. I prefer to work away from the pillar. I'm not the only one who feels like that thing has eyes. into the foundation through a back door I know. Had to get ahead of the hiss. Just a matter of bypassing the ritual protections. Luckily, the board's as distracted as the rest of the Bureau. I had to put on a brave face up there, but the situation is the worst I've ever seen. We're getting back on our feet, but we've already lost so much. Trench is dead. Darling is... somewhere. I'm the only one left. But I still have a job to do. Keep the hiss back. There's not enough HRAs to spare, so I'll have to make do with what I've got. Frankly, I don't even know what will happen if the hiss take the nail. Trench made it sound like it'd be the end of the world. 
He was never one to exaggerate. Well, orders are orders, even if they come from a dead man. Is take the nail. End of the world. So I can't let the Hiss take the nail. Not a problem. I know how to handle them. Another etching. going on wait I'm back here
I'm getting pretty tired of being jerked around the astral plane. If you're listening, I want some answers! in danger. We know we need to repair the nail. The astral plane is reality on my watch. I'm in the astral plane. Oh, this bleed is just getting worse and worse. Cave sand. Looks like the astral bleed goes to the Huh? <laughs> 
there's the etching. so long as it doesn't get in my way. Obsessing over these problems is something Trench would do, but I've got my intuition. And you? The hiss got in. The Foundation is overrun. I was out of time and out of options. I took all the C4 I could get my hands on and strapped it to the nail. Boom. A desperate move. But it's better off in pieces than in enemy hands. Trench wouldn't be thrilled. He always said how vital the nail was. How it was the Bureau's duty to protect it. Bullshit. Those years spent in the Director's chair warped his priorities. In the end, he valued order over people, the advice of invisible voices over that of old friends. He lost sight of who he was. The board made sure of that. But I did my duty. The Hiss can't corrupt a pile of smoking rubble. My last act as head of operations. I'm done. At least I could take those bastards down with me. Boom. The nail. Pile of smoking rubble. Marshall blew up the nail? What the hell was she thinking? This is the last one. I can't believe Marshall's brilliant plan was to blow up the nail. <laughs> and she thought I wasn't ready.
should be better now, not worse. Emily will know. I hope. What did you do? What is causing these tremors? I thought you could tell me. I completed the four rituals just like the board told me to. The astral bleed should have stopped. Look, it has stopped. The nail is repaired. But we have a new problem. My analysis of the nail indicates that it is literally a piece of the astral plane. Or possibly a vessel containing the astral plane. Or both. Either way, right now both dimensions are vibrating at completely incompatible frequencies. The spatial friction they are generating is incalculable. It's going to destroy both planes. I messed this all up. Maybe Marshall was right to destroy the nail. I should have left it in pieces. No, then the astral plane would still be leaking in. Sometimes there's no right answer, Jesse. We need more information. No. I need to fix this now. I'll just... I'll figure something out. No, we should really make a plan. The tremors are originating from directly below us, but we don't know what- Perfect! I'll head down and take care of whatever's going on. Just do what you can from here. Jesse, you can't just- I have to, Emily! I'm the director. This is on me. I hope I know what I'm doing. Was just the top of the nail? How much deeper does the foundation go? Entry day plus 118. I have changed. Though it's hard to know how or why. I no longer need tools to detect the house's veins, to hear it breathe. I can feel its blood churning beneath my bare feet. I have added my own illustrations to the walls trying to solve some mystery that the oldest house whispers to me. I have to avoid the it as I do so. They haunt me. I don't blame them. They're just following the pillar's orders. Even poor Adam doesn't seem to recognize me anymore. I've spent a long time contemplating the etchings of the tree and its roots. Did you know this city used to be a forest? I wonder if our oldest house wore a different face back then. Or if it was always here. A 21st century office building since time immemorial. Can a place know the future? Can it change its skin? Can it wander? I always thought the esoteric world was my father's, not mine. But here, in this sacred place, I finally understand his devotion and his awe. The crystals are growing like crazy here. It's almost like they're trying to stop me. I tried to get out after the detonation, but the astral spike came out of nowhere. I escaped, but my HRA was damaged. I'd bet a year's salary the board sent it. We never did see eye to eye. They have too much control over Trench, the Bureau, the House. They make themselves part of every important process. Nothing a little C4 can't fix. Two birds, one bomb. Christ, what a mess. But I stopped the hiss. I did it. If Faden did her part, then the Bureau is safe. Until the next thing. Jesse has good reason to hate the Bureau. But that could be what we need right now. She won't follow the same path. Won't fall into the same traps. 
she'll lead her way. So, Director Faden, here's my last lesson. You can't save everybody. The board said it. When Marshall blew up the nail, the board attacked her. I don't fucking like it. the house. Their ears are too full of lies. We were shown the way inside so we could help. But all we've done is fall victim to the same parasite. I should have seen the web earlier. The strands between Northmore, the pillar, the gun, the id. What hope did we have? Thrown into this conflict beyond our comprehension. I've decided to rejoin the Bureau in the upper levels to end my long absence spent in the Foundation. Northmore will be angry at me for disobeying him. That's just his way. But I don't care. I need to remain in the oldest house to help however I can. I doubt I can steer the Bureau back on the right course, but I have to try. How did I go so long without a purpose? Without devotion, I can hardly remember how it felt. I realize how grateful I am to Father for setting me on this path. I wish I could tell him that. Director Faden here. Send back up to my location. The Hiss are in for it now! Marshall? You're... alive. Soon you will no longer recognize us, or yourself, or him, or her, or them. Family is dead. The walls are broken, but... Yellow and red and yellow. God damn it. You will it is made right. You fuckers take everything. I am not letting you take this.
The nail is corrupted. That explains why the board wasn't answering what's causing the quakes. Marshall came down here to stop this. I should have been with her. I could have saved her. But I can still save everyone else. Fuck you too. Oh, I'll be sure to. Let's play it smart. They don't need to know I'm on to them. Not yet, anyway. secure. The hiss can't touch it. I can't undo the astral bleeding in the foundation, but at least it stopped. Along with the seismic activity. You did it, Jesse. Did you ever find Marshall? I did. She's gone. She died thinking she'd save the Bureau. Not a bad way to go. I wasn't ready for this crisis. I didn't even see it coming. But I promise I'll be ready for the next one. I mean, what good is a director who can't hold her bureau together? <laughs> <laughs> 